Let's talk about three harmonic balancers here on the bench. So here on the left, we have the original 1994 vintage uh, 50 ounce imbalance harmonic balancer or vibration dampener for a small block Ford, uh, late model five liter high output fuel injected. And over here, we have one that's off of my junk engine that I purchased as a rebuilder uh, for my 1984 uh, Fox roller swap. And over here, we have an aftermarket. So let's take a look at how you inspect one of these. When you're looking in a healthy one, you'll see the inner hub, inner ring, and then you'll see the outer dampening ring here. And you can see that it's got cuts, it's got timing marks, all the normal things you would expect. But as what makes these unique is they're two pieces and they're bonded together with this piece of rubber, uh, thermobonded, I believe. And as what can happen over time is the rubber can chunk or squeeze out. And this one's remarkably good because it's a super low mile car, even though it is a 1994, it's in great shape. We're gonna continue to reuse it. The other thing to take a look at is there's just a little bit of a groove from the uh, timing cover seal, but that's okay, that's fine. This one here from my junk engine, aside from having a piece missing, is really bad. You can see how the rubber begins to squeeze out. See how tall that is, how proud it is from the surfaces. So when it begins to squeeze out and chunk out, let's look at the reverse. You can see it's an extreme here, right? Look at all this. This is all being squeezed out compared to here where we're pretty much flat and flush. When this happens, your balancer is going to separate. It's just a matter of when. When it separates, um, this will fly off, which is quite a heavy piece of mass, but also your engine will be unbalanced. Generally, if it keeps running, um, it breaks the crank. Pretty permanent stuff. So when you're working on your vehicle, if you uh, just slide your hand in back, look for, if you feel this sort of texture or chunks missing, change that balancer. Over here is an example of just a basic power bomb replacement. This is what I've run on most of my vehicles. There's lots of other great options. Notice how it's a different design. It, uh, these things don't tend to separate. They're nicely made, pretty affordable price point, and it's good insurance while you're in there already. So there it is. Stock but good, stock but failed, aftermarket replacement. There's your quick tip on how to take a look at your balancer and make sure that your engine doesn't break the crankshaft.